Hello and welcome! There's going to be some great tips today about your holiday in Thailand. Another tip when you're in Thailand, you don't need to drink wine or alcohol, you can drink coconut. Mmm, delicious. It's great for hydration, it's great for your blood plasma, it gets your blood going, and also it's just a great drink. And you can crack it open and it makes a really great meal and drink, so it's highly recommended. No? <laughs> so, you're booking your ticket to Asia, to Thailand, or somewhere like Thailand. Maybe Laos, or however you pronounce that. Anyway, you want to go there cheaply, you think it's really expensive, you'll have to get a long-distance flight. It's not true. There are lots of cool websites like Skyscanner, uh, Kiwi.com, where you can get quite cheap flights. I'm talking if you're pound-minded, uh, maybe around 200 pounds or let's say 300, 400 dollars. Yeah. And how do you do that? You want to know, don't you? I'm going to tell you. What you do is you break your flight. You stop somewhere and you get the cheapest connection. What costs the most is if you, say, get a, I don't know, 14-hour flight from London direct to Hong Kong. That's the most expensive. But if you actually are really clever, then what you do is you break the flight and you might even have two separate airlines and it comes out a lot cheaper. And my big tip for you, at this moment, it might not be forever, but going through Moscow is a really good idea. You don't need a visa if you're just in the airport. And it's, I think, cheaper because the ruble is significantly lower than it has been. So you don't even have to go through Dubai or somewhere like that, you can definitely go through Moscow. So I hope that you can find some cheap flights that will really be good, because then you can spend extra money on coconut juice. Cheers. It's not vodka, by the way, it's just water. You should definitely consider on your holiday, especially in Asia, Thailand, the possibility of heat stroke. It gets very, very hot and also it's very, very humid. There's a lot of water in the air, so you actually sweat a lot. Yeah, I went there. Anyway, what I want to say is you should be drinking lots of water. You should be avoiding the midday sun and you should be in a shaded place and also you should definitely consider air conditioning with your accommodation and that kind of thing. Cheers. <laughs> Jet lag. So, if you're coming to Thailand, especially from Europe, you should be very careful and plan for jet lag. What is jet lag? It means when you get really out of sync with your new normal schedule because the time zone has changed. 
Oh yeah, that can happen. Anyway, you should plan in your holiday to have one or two days to rest, to maybe get some extra sleep so that you don't feel sick. And also, I would recommend to you to try and travel in the nighttime rather than the daytime because if you travel in the daytime it can be worse for your natural body clock. Anyway, I'm very jet lagged, so bye. Go. Tai cash on the Another tip with Thai money, what you should do is when you go to an ATM, you should get out lots of money because they really charge a lot of money for you to take out your money, if that makes sense. So be very careful uh, to withdraw a big quantity because otherwise you'll be faced with lots of charges and you won't be able to buy delicious coconut. <laughs> okay, I've got a warning for you this time. When you go on holiday, especially to Thailand, you've got to be very careful because the sun is very hot. Even like now, if it's quite dark and overcast, you should be very careful that you wear sun cream because what happens is on the first day you don't wear sun cream and then you're really really burnt for the rest of the days. So be very careful and make sure you use sun cream and if you do get burnt make sure you have some special cream to wear on yourself or put on yourself so that you feel better and happy. Be careful of the sun. I'll let the snow sun now.